My name is James. Some men came to attack my village. But then, I fought back. It wasn't easy, but I dropped all of them. Nobody messes with me and go free. So in order to achieve something like the video you just saw, the first thing you need to do is to generate your images using any image generator of your own, like Bing Image Creator, Copilot, TensorArt, Leonardo AI, just to mention a few. In our case, we shall be using ChatGPT. You can describe the scene, character, or object you need in as much detail as possible. The more specific you are, the better the result. My first prompt for image generation was this. Generate an image of a cowboy riding a horse running forward towards the camera. Behind him is an explosion. Besides him are houses exploding simultaneously. Flames and smokes filled the air as a result of the explosion. Rich texture, realistic image. And here is the result of the prompt. The second prompt says, generate the image of a cowboy behind a crashed plane shooting at another cowboy. The bullet piercing into the victim, a rich texture image. Make sure the shot is directed to the cowboy. And here you have the result of the image. So guys, I'm going to be pasting the entire prompt on the description for you to use if you want, but it would be nice to follow me for proper understanding. And the third prompt says, generate the image of a cowboy on a horse chasing after another cowboy on a horse. The first cowboy shot at the second as he chased after him. They are in a dense forest at dusk. Heavy rain pour. Fog around the forest. A rich texture image. And there you have the image. So without wasting time, I am going to just go ahead and generate the entire image to save time. So here is the entire result of the prompt I generated from ChatGPT. Let me scroll through. Using ChatGPT to generate image prompts also opens up creative possibilities. Since you can experiment with different descriptions and ideas quickly, you can explore various artistic directions before settling on the one that best fits your vision. This flexibility is especially useful in the creative process, where iterating on ideas is key to producing compelling content. The next thing is to animate our generated images. And in doing this, we will be using a new and exceptional software called Vidu AI. Look guys, I have tried this AI out and realized it's simply the best. Vidu has the capability of generating videos from images and text prompts. The surprising thing here is that it is very fast and it generates quality and realistic video displays. Vidu is an AI model created by the Chinese startup Shengshu Technology in collaboration with Tsinghua University. Announced on April 27, 2024, this text-to-video tool is capable of generating 1080p high-definition, 16-second videos with just one click. According to Zhu Jun, the chief scientist at Shengshu, Vidu is not only creative, but also able to simulate the physical world, delivering videos with consistent characters, scenes, and timelines. So let's try out this amazing AI tool. Open Vidu AI and make sure to register. When done and you are logged in, you will have 80 credits to be used per month. And guys, I must say it's worth it. Then click on Create. The left-hand side is where you could either input text or upload video for animation. You also have the opportunity to upscale your generated video if you want, but not to worry, I will be showing us how to upscale our videos when done. So let's upload our images and start animating them. Click on the upload button, click on your image and upload, then copy the image prompt from ChatGPT and paste it here and click create and automatically you would be charged four credits. Look, Vidu is very exceptional and could generate your video perfectly well without the prompt but it is still a choice, so we are going to do it for the second image like so. Click Upload, select your image and upload, copy prompt and paste in here, and finally, click Create. Now that this is done, I'm going to go ahead to work on other images. Let's go. This is the result here guys, check this out one after the other.
The next thing would be to upscale your images. And to do that, we would have to go to the browser and type in CapCut Video Upscale. Click Enter and click the first link. The second link would be for upscaling your images. So click Upload and click Upload again. Look for your video and click on it to upload it for upscaling. Once uploaded, you will find out that it is loading. When done, click on Upscale and wait for it. Wow, these are amazing guys. Check out the quality of the video, the next thing to do would be to export the video. So click on export and scroll up to click on download. So we are going to repeat the process one more time, after which I would go ahead to do the rest myself. So let's click on upload again and follow the same process. So guys, we are done upscaling this particular one. So sit back while I upscale the rest and then we can continue. And the next thing would be to import the videos into CapCut and arrange them accordingly. Also, you would need to give the images some spaces to make it have that trailer feel. And also, when I start editing, I'm going to be adding the fade animation at the end of each image. You will understand as we go on. So let's fix the images and also arrange them accordingly. There you have it. The images are ready. The next thing would be to get our sound effects and music background. And to do that, we would be using Pixabay. Type in Pixabay on your browser and click the first link. Click. Make sure the option is on sound effect. And here you can search for any sound effect you want to search for, like the gunshot effect, the explosion effect, the horse effect, just to mention a few. Do well to search for all the effects needed for the video.
After that, you would need to change the option from sound effect to music, and here you can search for any background effect you want. You can search for movie trailers or dramatic. Just get your hands dirty, and I believe you will find something exceptional. Do not forget, we do not have our narrator's voiceover yet. In order to do that, you could just use any text-to-speech software that you want. For this, we are going to be using Eleven Labs. All you need to do is head over to Eleven Labs, choose your voice actor, and then input your text. Click Generate and download it. And that's it. You can use it for your movie. Now let's finalize everything using CapCut. Drag and drop your voices, background sound, sound effect into the editing platform and align your voice together with the images. Make sure the background sound is not louder than your voice. Add, fade out to the edge of all the images and your video is ready. Export it and you are done. If my name is James. Some men came to attack my village. But then, I fought back. It wasn't easy, but I dropped all of them. Nobody messes with me and go free. If you gained anything from this video, please do not forget to subscribe, as this will help the algorithm to push my video further to more people like you to watch and learn from it. Thank you.